Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Gemini. Let's see what messages will show up for you in case this reading resonates. There will be a link in the description box to the extended. And also if you have a question on your mind, I will be pulling out oracle cards towards the end of the reading to clarify for those questions. And let's see. We have Eight of Cups and the Fool card at the split of the deck. So you're walking away from something, you're outgrowing something and walking away and you know, this energy has been almost like a repetitive theme for a lot of people. You know, this um, energy of detachment has been showing up for a lot of people. So we will just see what's up. Let's see, what do we have for Gemini? Let's see, what is the overall energy for you and where are things headed? I'm going to pull three cards and let's see. So the overall energy for you is the Seven of Swords. You're turning your back to somebody, um, Gemini, because you, you feel like somebody's not worth your response anymore, okay? Um... I feel like a lot of you are also refusing to listen to people's opinions and thoughts of you. You're moving forward and you're not looking back, okay? And there is maybe a project or a venture that you're focused on, okay? And you're not very... Um, it's like you're not really revealing what has been going on with you, okay? You're getting page of wands. So I feel like there's communication, there's forward movement. You're also going to be enjoying something a lot, uh, Gemini, okay? Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. I said Leo. So you're going to be enjoying something a lot. There's also communication coming through for you, okay? So nice stuff. There's growth, there's expansion, maybe even communication. Um, Some of you may also be celebrating something. You may be focused on your health and your fitness as well. Gemini. Okay. Let's see. And the sun card. Yeah, so there is something very positive here coming in for you, especially with that sun card. The sun card represents growth, expansion. It represents this energy of, you know, being free. Okay. So if some of you have been feeling confined, then maybe you need to go out more, go out in the nature because the sun does represent nature and growth and expansion. Okay. So you're going to be feeling very free. You're going to be feeling very positive, actually, you know, uh, sometimes we get into these phases in our life where we are all, uh, pessimistic about things, but over here, I feel like you're going to be more optimistic about things and you're going to be more excited to make things happen in your life, okay? What's the Four of Pentacles? Some of you may be saving money to buy something or I feel like you're just very careful with who you open up to, <laughs> okay? Some of you have also been pulling back your energy from a pause person, okay? Um, because you don't see it going anywhere or you feel like this person was trying to rush things with you. I just feel like with the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, you know, um, you are pulling back your energy from somebody. There is somebody on your mind, okay? But um, I don't feel like that is enough for you to reach out or communicate with this person. With the Magician card, this is... Um, Virgo and Gemini energy. This is Mercury. This is you. Okay, so there are good things that you're manifesting and some of you might literally be using law of attraction or I don't know spells and whatever, you know, like there's something here about manifestation for you and also the fact that you are actively taking part in it. Okay, you're actively taking part in um, what you have been manifesting for yourself, okay? Um, I'm also getting here that there's some sort, of, there's some form of divine intervention here, okay, for you, Gemini. And one more thing I'm getting here is that you're going to be manifesting something where you won't even have to do much and it's going to come your way, 
okay you're gonna feel at ease with something especially if there is something you've already manifested or you've been thinking about manifesting it i really feel like you're gonna be at ease okay so let's see show me more show me more please so we have the nine of cups absolutely so again you know it keeps telling me uh that you're getting over something you are um overcoming your fears as well with the nine of cups energy it's like you're outgrowing something um gemini and this is about your happiness for a lot of you you're also freeing yourself from addictions and just people places things that keep you stuck okay I keep getting an energy here of feeling energized and wanting to do more and more and more because if you pay attention to both of these cards, I feel like there's also a message for you to be open to receiving the blessings coming your way and claim them because I feel like Gemini, it's, it's more so about, what is that saying? Ask and you shall receive. So there's really something about your manifestation and there is this energy here of expansion maybe even trying something new or um extending your energy towards something new perhaps there is a treasure box here so i feel like it's abundance for you two of swords what has been making you feel confused I feel like this is you ignoring somebody with the five of cups reverse energy you're done with something and you're like just dusting it off you're like you know what i don't want to do this no more okay i'm getting over it i've spent enough time worrying i've spent enough time being sad about it and i'm just not gonna let it lower my vibration anymore so some of you may be avoiding a person okay and working in silence towards something show me who's coming towards gemini you're also outgrowing something or you're getting over some form of insecurity six of wands eight of cups Who's coming towards Gemini? Who's coming towards Gemini? Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're gonna be very intuitive, okay? I feel like some of you are already very intuitive. Um, you're gonna be getting signs and synchronicities maybe through your dreams or through your intuition. Some of you are really like, there's this energy of, um, maybe you love candles, okay? Or you're, it's showing me again and again, Gemini, that you're trying to manifest something. And I don't know what exactly that is, but whatever it is, you're gonna do it because with the magician and the high priestess together this is a very powerful duo because this is somebody who's who's aware of things this is somebody who knows that they have to put an effort towards something and the rest is not in their control but at the same time this person is an alchemist so that is where your energy has been and no wonder when you are in that energy people want to steal your energy okay so i see you very focused on your work your money your goals and just being very quiet and intuitive and tuning inwards more than anything else what is going to be gemini's challenge to a wands what's the advice I feel like Gemini, it's time to outgrow something, especially if this is something you've looked, you have looked forward to for a long time. And if there's a venture, there's a person, there's a project that you have not seen much growth in, this is a time for you to evolve, okay? Uh, because your challenge here has something to do with knowing that there has to be better, um, not really compromising, but striving to become better, okay? With the Hierophant energy, you're being told here to uplift your spirit, okay? And do whatever you got to do to achieve that, okay? 
because Hierophant and High Priestess here, this reading is really talking about something spiritual or, or some sort of spiritual ascension. Um, some of you may be into tarot or astrology as well. But I'm really getting here that your spirit guides are with you, Gemini. And that's why you've been feeling like... You've been feeling like you want to break from something, okay? And you've been feeling confused. But with the chariot energy, your life is going to pick up pace again. There could be a Cancer, Taurus, Pisces um, coming towards you. Even another Virgo or Gemini. I also, I also have Leo energy. So this is a lot about forward movement. This is a lot about... Uh, doing despite the negative beliefs about something but I don't feel like you have any negative beliefs it's just that um, it's time to move forward okay with the chariot it's it's cancer energy and that is cardinal energy right so something here is talking about you taking action okay being bold even um, speaking your truth There's also something here in this reading about not being afraid of something, okay? Show me more for Gemini. Tell me who's coming towards Gemini in love. Five of Wands. Somebody is getting un- oh. Okay, Gemini. So you have Five of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the King of Cups. Somebody is getting very uncomfortable because you're silent and with the king of cups they've been thinking about you i feel like there's some form of, some form of telepathic communication going on but this person has been feeling very like there has been a very unsettling feeling for this person i do feel like you're gonna get a communication because they're not feeling good about you not talking to them or something like that let's see show me messages for gemini in love show me messages for gemini they're not honest i feel like the whole reason why you're not speaking to them is because they have been dishonest and again it looks like even if they have feelings for you they never tell you that now they have regrets and then you have i love you energy so gemini there is definitely somebody here who is having regrets and now they're wanting to reach out now they're wanting to, you know, make amends with you. Sorry. Okay. Just because they feel like you're out of reach for them. Okay. They're regretting what they did. That's why they're wanting to reach out to you. They know they made a mistake and the love call. Literally look at this. Somebody is going to be calling you, texting you because they know that they did you wrong. Okay. And like I said, you know, you pulling back your energy from them is making them very uncomfortable. Okay. It's, it's making them feel like, oh, I need to do something about the situation. Let's see. What is your guided message? If you have a question on your mind, then think of your question and hit that like button, you guys. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Nice shuffle. We have abundance. So yeah, I was seeing it before as well that maybe you've been worried about, you know, manifestations. And like I said, you're in a very abundant time period. So it's time to enjoy. Um, it's time to have fun and welcome abundance. Okay, let's see for you what this card is saying.
Great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not always financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends, vibrant health or romantic love. This card can also reflect an inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. So open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire. So this is a clear message for you that this, you know, um, you need to be more receptive of the energies that are flowing into your life, especially, you know, you're in a very abundant energy right now. Okay. So that's it, Gemini. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And the extended is going to be linked in the description box if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye.